Ooh. Found it. Shiny. That's nice to see that LeBlanc is okay. All three of them are right. All it's right, good. obvious to the trained eye that spear's just a dud. Perfect for the dull wings. <laughs> You've wins again. Well, I guess we'll be taking this. She must have some pretty decent upper body strength if uh, she managed to haul all three of them up there. But, uh, yeah. All right, and we got the sphere. Awesome. And we got a star pendant and a f and fairy earrings from the Boris fight there. So we got two accessories that protect against poison now. So sweet. The fairy earrings. I think they do two things. Brother, mission complete. Brother, he's not with you. Uh, <laughs> is he supposed to be? <laughs> I don't think that was part of the plan. Something about Yuna being in trouble, then he just jumped ship. And here he is. He's alive, right? Just leave him there. Can you analyze the sphere we found? I'm on it. I don't know why every time I see that and I hear what happened, uh, happens, I always picture him being up here. Shouting Yuna's name, saying I'm gonna come for you. He climbs up, climbs up on the the ledge, and just jumps off because of where he's laying. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, before I actually talk to him, because this game does have a you know a counter to show you the your completion for the game, I have tried to find points where you get a solid percentage point, which is, I, I guess we call, we could call them completion checkpoints. So let's see what we're at. We are, should be at exactly 6% by this point. And we are, so there we go. It's probably going to be the best way if you're playing along to keep up with, you know, uh, how you're doing kind of thing and how, versus how I'm doing. So yeah. Alright, let's talk to brother. Now for 100% completion, you have to co choose comfort him. Thank you, brother. Uh, it was uh, it's nothing. Don't strain yourself. Neither oh, oh. uh, must be tough. Sicko! Uh, 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 right in the junk, anyways. All right, let's see what uh, Shinra's come up with. Analysis complete. Want to watch the sphere? Watching this sphere, I don't believe is completion, but still worth it to watch it. I-I-I can't believe I actually got a ticket! What a thrill to be able to shake her hand like that. Think it's worth anything? 
It's not very exciting. Junk. But we can use it as a dress sphere. Oh, really? And we get the Black Mage dress sphere. Woo! Incoming data. Indeed, Go in to your station. Indeed. Yeah, how long you plan on lying there? It's excuse it? me. The treasure sphere data you've been dying for. There's at least one on Besaid Island, and another in the Xanarkin ruins. So, where to? And now, with all of that out of the way, the uh, Mount Gagazet ruins. We now have the world open to us. Selecting a mission aboard the airship, the sky's the limit. Based on information Buddy collects, you can travel to various hotspots, take on missions, and advance the story. To select a mission or destination, pull up the world map or by talking to Buddy or by Buddy, and you can press the circle to return to the bridge. Why visit hotspots? Hotspots appear as you complete missions, and Buddy collects data from Thurad Spira. Exploring these hotspots unlocks new missions and episodes, placing you in charge of what direction the story will ultimately take. Basically, the hotspots are story. So, if you want, you can just go straight to every single hotspot and just blitz the game, but that's not what we're doing this playthrough. We're going for 100% completion. So, yeah. <laughs> Gotta do a little bit more than that. So, yeah. So, yeah, buddy, uh, before you leave, let me tell you about the mission select menu. On the left, you'll find a list of all the places you can go. Hotspot appears when we get a scoop on some data. That's where the action is. All right, so Besaid Island, hi, uh, sphere hunt, sphere waves coming from Besaid. Rather gather information on Besaid Village, or in Besaid Village, and find that treasure sphere. And you can select any location with cross to view at analysis results and mission details. So yeah. the easy uh, hard gauge display at the bottom of the screen indicates the difficulty of battles in the area. So they do give you a bit of a I guess you could say a, a suggestion in terms of it gives you something to gauge where you should go next kind of thing so yeah in this case uh, Poseidon has pretty uh, medi medium strength enemies for us at this point so yeah. the more stars there are the tougher the fiends careful out there so yeah and I think it's actually it actually uh, uh, scales up and down with your level maybe but uh, yeah for some reason it strikes me as it does doing that so anyways that's all we're to going so yeah our hot spots are in Besaid, like they said and the Xanarkid ruins obviously the uh, difficulty of the fiends in that area are maxed out so yeah before we go to Besaid though there is one thing I want to do uh, is there anything I need I don't, know, I don't think I need to worry about anything on the airship so let's head down to Luca mission real commotion Luca city of pleasure that was the city of Blitzball, but anyways. You and the hungry crowds packed the stadium, but did they get what they paid for? The true story behind the music. So yeah, this, let's uh, go take a look. And see what the uh, quote-unquote aftermath of the concert was. started with the garment grid. That's the invention that lets us harness the dress sphere's power. Behind the scenes, retrace Yuna's steps during her imposter's concert in Luca. The truth is out there. Find it. Objective, learn the whole story behind the concert. So yeah, that's why we're here. Chase the 
Yuna's all the way to Luca, but when we arrived... Hear that? Lady Yuna in concert! All right, think there are any tickets left? Looks like your imposter's pretty popular. I doubt anyone would believe ours is the real Yuna. Not dressed like that! I didn't ask to wear this. Ooh, that's gotta be warm in that climate. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we finish this before Yuna passes out? Please. We'll be back in two shakes, so be a good moogle, you hear? <sighs> the plan was to sneak into the imposter's concert and recover the garment grid. If I went in, our cover would be blown, so it was up to Riku and Pain, which left me with nothing to do but lay low and wait. <laughs> and that's how I got stuck with the Gullwing's prized... garment. I complained, but Brother's orders are still orders. <laughs> you get into the shade. Yeah, that's definitely a situation where it definitely makes me uh, groan just the thought of having to wear this thing. <laughs> hey, get back here. <laughs> Couple of ruckus makers. Yevon, eh? I have a feeling that's some sort of a political situation. The word Yevon in it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the dwarves from Final Fantasy 1. Must be a football player. Can we go up here? No? Okay. Invisible plot wall. Let's head down to the square before Yuna passes out. I guess what, with Yuna almost falling backwards there down the steps, I guess the padding of the costume would help out a bit in that regard. <laughs> Take some of the stink out of it if it actually happened, but fortunately she didn't have to deal with that. So what did you do after we left? What's with that pose? Oh, hurry up. You, get over here. Huh? It's almost as if she was posing as a statue for like a conquest or something like that. Go on here. Yeah, we're trying. We that just yelled at us is sitting right there behind the kiosk. Oh, sorry about that. Eh. Yeah. Right here, kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you got a ticket, I'm sure. Yeah, well, you're probably not in much better shape. What are you wearing? <laughs> yeah, let's go open this. There's two more people. Hey, there's a Luke Goer in here. Uh, at least, uh, hopefully there's some sort of airflow in there. Oh, it's maybe a uh, broadcast booth or something. And can we get into the cafe? No. Oh. I love how they called it a cafe in the last game, but you can clearly see it's written above the, the arch there. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> 
And there's a cafe right here, though. Which we can't do, so. Alright, let's talk to this guy. You're here to promote the concert, right? Me? No, there must be some mistake. Thanks, and hey, don't screw up. Did I do it because I couldn't turn him down? Or because the conversation was over before I had the chance? I get the feeling that that headpiece is a bit heavier than everything else. It <laughs> keeps knocking her off balance. Balloon drive. Somehow you've managed to end up promoting your imposter's concert. Use cr the cross button to hand out balloons to 10 people in the plaza and build up some buzz. Yeah, so this is required for a completion. So yeah, I just gotta find 10 people to hand out balloons to and we're good to go. Got them while they're hot. Well, considering how quickly that balloon flew out of that girl's hands, it probably are hot air balloons. Or at least the game helium. Come see the concert, okay? Or it could just be magic. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, only if people don't take the balloons. And I've got a quote to make. So yeah, it can be a little tricky to hand out the two balloons here just because of the, the close proximity of each of them, so yeah. Best way I found just to approach from the south and then approach from the north and we should be alright. Alright. Enjoy. Go on, take one. Yeah. yeah. I guess that'd be a nice present. It's a really nice balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna see the concert? Yeah, you can probably fit a balloon in there. Just try to keep it away out of the way of the mics. Alright, where's that uh oh, bad guy? Maybe that'll help improve his mood to have a balloon on him. Where you go? Oh, there he is. I don't know, you never know until you ask. Sure you don't want it? <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Alright, so who are we going to give this last balloon to? Well, you probably saw them. Right up here. Got a bouncer for the bar. And that makes ten. Mission accomplished. And for that we get the Healing Wind Garment Grid. enjoying herself until she got hurt does she look that much like me hold it the concert's sold out you can't go in I can't definitely not go on get out of here hey we got some gate crashers must be those spear hunters Yes, sir! Oh, no! I hadn't heard from Riku or Pain, so I didn't know what to do. What's wrong? It's me! <laughs> I mean, I suppose LeBlanc could look like Yuna if she was dressed up in the same outfit. Isn't that how cosplaying usually works? I wasn't sure what I was doing. Riku sure was having fun. So now you know why we had to talk to the Moogle on dock number two. <laughs> it was Yuna all along. <sighs> that is one impressive gun. Impressive? Is that the right word? I don't know. Looks like 
trouble. Oh, finally. Indeed. to finish him off but then you showed up and stole all the fun I guess I was so glad to get out of that thing that I went a little nuts that explains the dancing <laughs> Yuna's dancing well <laughs> I am there listening close enough so this is my life now we travel from place to place and the days just seem to fly by Sometimes, I find myself stopping. I'm listening for your whistle. And we get mission complete. So yeah, not only did we do that for completion, but also the garment grid we got out of it, because it'll make things a lot easier for where we go next. Alright, let's take a look. So we may as well get our, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, what was it? No, it was a garment grid, I suppose. Healing wind allows the user and the, uh, person equipped with it to use cure so yeah and then the gates allowed you to unlock cura and curaga so yeah definitely be useful okay. and of course we got the black mage stuff going on so yeah comes with the four elements learned and then you learn the others uh, <laughs> i was thinking i should say something but not yet all right um what are we doing here i might as well sort it Give a d double check to our abilities. Sneaky shuffle, just about halfway. You're almost done with first strike. I'll have her learn how to flee after that. And yeah, she's got first strike. Let's hope we're going here. We're going here to have her learn how to pilfer gill, so yeah. Is there will come a time when uh, Riku. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll say it now. Yeah. I'll have uh, Riku starting to work on the Black Mage stuff, so yeah. Getting uh, pain to uh, learn Pilfergill could be useful. So yeah, if we ever need to start a battle and uh, have, uh, you know, just having, two, like I said, same idea of having two things, just two uses, uh, two ability, two times you can have. Uh, I'll be, say this: I'll be t probably be taking pain through the thief uh, dre uh, job class probably a bit more than uh, Riku. So yeah, for the most part. So yeah. But in any case, I think I'll uh, take care of any equipment I need to do, equipping I need to do off screen. And next time we'll head off uh, to whatever we choose to do next. Thank you for watching. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one. And this is indeed another completion checkpoint, so it uh, should be 8%. And there we go. Catch you next time.